Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day today. I want to welcome you to our video. We're going to talk about Bitcoin and billionaires who are buying Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Now we're going to talk about Bitcoin in particular, um, but I'm convinced I don't have proof of what I'm about to say, so I could be wrong. But I really do believe, hey, if these guys are buying Bitcoin, they're probably buying other cryptocurrencies as well. I would love to know what other cryptocurrencies they're buying. If you know anything about that, please let us know in the comments below. But in the meantime, I do have some proof that there's a handful of billionaires that are buying Bitcoin. And I think it's likely that we're going to see even more billionaires buying Bitcoin in the weeks and months ahead. So let's get into it. We have a great video prepared for you. So the first thing is do something nice for somebody that you know or even somebody that you don't know. But do something nice. It, it is something called Takoon Alam. And so check out this uh, slide when you have a little bit of time. Uh, our disclaimer is I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. This is my opinion. Now this paragraph here is not here as legal mumbo jumbo, even though it is legal mumbo jumbo. Uh, here's the important thing about this paragraph here. This paragraph is designed to help you take profits and avoid losses. More than anything, I want to see you make some money with cryptocurrency, but I also don't want you to see you getting wrecked and hurting yourself financially. And so definitely heed this paragraph. It's great advice for cryptocurrency investing and any kind of investing that you may choose to do now or in the future. Now, as I mentioned, our website and our YouTube channel is here to give you ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses, specifically with cryptocurrency. Go visit our website. It's luminatecrypto.com. That's L-U-M-I-N, the number eight, crypto.com. Um, when you do visit our website, scroll to the bottom. There's a place where you can put in your email address. By putting in your email address, we'll notify you when we post videos. And even more importantly, we're going to we're going to let you in on our private online webinars. So definitely be sure to avail yourself of that. Now, I wanted to give you this chart here. And the primary reason is, is you can pick any day between now and 2010, go all the way back to 2010. And if you pick any date and buy and hold cryptocurrency, for three years or longer, 98% of the time you'll be in profit. Now this chart gives you some specifics. If you had bought it on January 1, 2018 to January 1, 2011 and held it for three years, it lets you know exactly how much you would have made during that particular time frame. So we want to talk about billionaires. That's what this video is all about, is what billionaires are buying cryptocurrency, specifically Bitcoin. The first one was news today. This was brand new news from Tesla because Tesla had to file a report with the Securities and Exchange Commission. And so in that report that Tesla filed with the SEC, they let the world know that Tesla has bought 1.5 billion, yes, $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. That is huge. And with that news, it sent the price of Bitcoin skyrocketing. At, at the last time I checked, it was in the ballpark of 44,000. Might go higher, might, might stay right around there. I hope it doesn't drop, uh, but it might drop as well. The bottom line is, is for Elon Musk's business, Tesla, to have bought $1.5 billion worth of crypto is spectacular. But not only that, you, you, you got to think about Elon Musk. He's not, he, he's, he's somewhat of a private person. He's been wealthy for a good long time and he doesn't show everything he has in his deck of cards. And so the question begs itself, has Elon Musk personally invested in Bitcoin outside of Tesla? Has Elon Musk 
invested in Tesla through SpaceX, which is a private company and would not be required to report it to the SEC? Or has Elon Musk invested in Bitcoin through other avenues and other means that today are not public? Um, given his history of dropping hints, making comments, all these different things about cryptocurrency. In fact, it wasn't that long ago that he was making comments about Dogecoin in particular, which sent Dogecoin skyrocketing to new prices. And so I'm curious what else in terms of other cryptocurrency and in other uh, either personally or other investment vehicles has Elon Musk uh, done with cryptocurrency? Now, we know from the SEC reporting that this particular event was 7.7% of the gross cash of Tesla. So Tesla has taken their treasury and almost 8% of the treasury has been moved from cash in bank accounts into cryptocurrency. Now, I, I, I personally would love to know what percentage of Elon Musk's total wealth, both in Tesla, SpaceX, his other business ventures, and personally, what percentage of his wealth is actually invested in Bitcoin. That would be really interesting to know. I think it would be useful. But based on him putting eight, almost 8% 8 of the Tesla treasury into Bitcoin, it makes me think that he might have a lot of other places where he has actually invested in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Given that he made those comments about Dogecoin, it wouldn't surprise me at all to find out that he's got a list of cryptocurrencies that he has invested in. Now, another billionaire that I wanted to bring up to you and bring to your attention is this gentleman out of Mexico. He's Mexico's third richest person, and he also has invested significant amounts of money into Bitcoin. Um, this, the billionaire with an estimated worth of $1.3 billion as of January changed his Twitter bio over the weekend to include Bitcoin hashbug crypto Twitter users in some of Salina's more than 840,000 followers reported, no, reported, reported noticing the change on Saturday. The time the price of the cryptocurrency asset surged to more than $40,000 for the first time in 23 days. And so here we have an example of Ricardo Salinas Piego. I, I apologize. I'm convinced I probably did not pronounce that correctly. Uh, forgive me for not pronouncing it correctly, but he's the chairman of Conglomerate group Salinas and Mexico's third richest person is plugging Bitcoin on social media. Now, a billionaire plugging Bitcoin tells me something, and that is you're not. I would be very, very shocked if he would plug Bitcoin and not be invested in it prior to plugging it. My guess, my expectation is that he has some kind of investment in Bitcoin and or cryptocurrency, and that's why he made that particular plug, that he did it on Twitter to 840,000 followers. So that's pretty significant. Another billionaire is Bill Miller, and he is going to invest $400 million in Bitcoin, and he's gonna do it through the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, GBTC. Now, $400 million is a substantial sum of money. It's a lot more than I could even dream about investing. But hopefully, someday, I'll have the kind of money where I could do that. But we're, we're so far away, we're not even in the same state, so to speak. Maybe not even the same country when it comes to, to finances. Um, but the important thing here. You know, as I'm showing you these billionaires, what you want to think about is what do they know? What information do they have? Uh, as a billionaire, now this is my opinion, and I can't prove it, but if you're going to invest a million dollars, a hundred million dollars, one billion dollars into Bitcoin and or cryptocurrency, I would think you're going to do your homework first. 
I would think that you're going to have specialists, analysts, investing. You would probably invest money into researching out cryptocurrency slash Bitcoin before you ever put a dime into it, especially when you're talking about a billion dollars. So we may not know what their research was, but we can learn from the decision they made based off of that research. And that research has led them to invest in Bitcoin and led them to invest in Bitcoin in very large sums of money. There's there's not a billionaire out there whose ego would allow them to go public with something that could easily become a mistake. You know, when, when they go out and they decide that they're going to build a building or they're going to move from one location to another location, um, when, when people with money are making decisions that will require hundreds of millions and billions of dollars, they take their time with it. They do their research. They investigate it. They dig deep, deeper than the average Joe would most likely ever dig. And as a result, these billionaires have made a decision that they're going to buy Bitcoin and they're buying it in a big, big, big way. So I may not know the research that they did have to help them make that decision, but I do know what decision they made. I can see the actions that they took and I can copy those actions, just like with eToro copy trading. Anyway, let's move on. So MicroStrategy is a company that I've talked about before, um, but we just recently got an update. MicroStrategy has increased the amount of money that they've used to invest in Bitcoin and MicroStrategy has currently, uh, I know it's a billion dollars, but I keep seeing this uh, MicroStrategy's Bitcoin holdings stock surge in value after Tesla's one and a half billion dollar buy. So I know that they've invested a billion dollars into Bitcoin and it's now worth three billion dollars, but it was, I'm not sure if I got a number confused when I originally read this headline. I was thinking it was actually a, a 1.5 billion that MicroStrategy has invested over time. Maybe it is only 1. Point something billion. Let's get down here to another chart. I think this chart, well, I'm not sure if this chart has been updated, but we can look at the numbers that the chart has. MicroStrategy is the first line on here. Okay, so I it looks like MicroStrategy has invested uh, 1.145 billion into Bitcoin and today's value of the Bitcoin they've purchased is over $3 billion. So that's a 338% gain on their Bitcoin purchase. But here's the cool thing about this particular chart. Now this chart is Bitcoin treasuries and the, it shows you a listing of different companies. I'm sure once they update it, Tesla will be added to this list. Um, but today Tesla is not on the list, not yet. Um, and this chart shows you a list of different companies and how much they have invested in Bitcoin in particular. So if you read down through the chart, we can see here that the current value of all of these different companies in terms of what they've invested in the Bitcoin is $54 billion. So between Grayscale Bitcoin Trust and Tesla and MicroStrategy and a variety of other businesses and companies, there's over $54 billion that has been pushed into Bitcoin. Now, the CEO and the president of the company for MicroStrategy is a guy named Michael Saylor. And I was listening to a YouTube video where he was talking about it. Now, I've always believed in the four-year cycle that Bitcoin normally goes through. And during that four-year cycle, there's usually a bull run that's about 12 months, 18 months long, where the price goes ballistic and it hits a brand new all-time high. And then right after the bull run, um, the price of Bitcoin tends to drop dramatically for about 12 months. The last time was the 
from January 2018 all the way out to about December of 2018, where the price dropped from 20,000 all the way down to 3,800. Now that sounds pretty dramatic, but if you had gotten in on the previous all-time high of $1,000, even that 3,800 is still a profitable number for you. Anyway, all of that aside, bottom line here is uh, Michael Saylor was uh, talking about how, and this was, you got to understand, he's doing uh, meetings, conferences, all kinds of things to talk to other billionaires to help them invest in Bitcoin. He did a two-day conference uh, on Thursday and Friday, uh, the first couple of days of, of February. That was, let me pull it up here. So it was uh, February 4th, 2021, and February 5th, 2021, because today is February 8th. It's Monday, February 8th, 2021. And so Thursday, February 4th, and Friday, February 5th, Michael Saylor had a conference where he invited other CEOs and billionaires to come to the conference because they were going to talk about the things that he did and what his business did with MicroStrategy uh, to make sure that they had all of their ducks in a row, that they did the SEC filings they needed to do, et cetera, et cetera. They, they, I'm, they talked about things like who, where they bought the Bitcoin, how they're custodying the Bitcoin, et cetera, et cetera. They covered a, a large number of topics. His purpose is he's trying to convince other billionaires to take billions of dollars and invest in Bitcoin. And if we see 10 billionaires doing that, if we see uh, 20 or 50 or 100 billionaires start investing large sums of money in Bitcoin, then the normal uh, 18, 12 month bear cycle where the price drops dramatically, the price historically will drop somewhere around 70, 80% during that year long bear market after these up cycles. Michael Saylor says he's convinced there will not be another bear cycle and that the price will continue to go up. And his justification is mostly about billionaires investing in Bitcoin. And if he's successful at getting a handful of billionaires investing in Bitcoin, then that definitely has the potential of happening. So time will tell. Who knows how successful he will be at it? But it's pretty clear from the articles we just went over that he may have been that there are other billionaires investing in it, even if they haven't even talked to Michael Saylor. Uh, I I didn't see anything about uh, Elon Musk talking to Michael Saylor and that that had something to do with his decision to take Tesla. He was tweeting about and teasing things about Bitcoin for about the last two years. And so he may have done that independent of Michael Saylor. We may be seeing a lot of billionaires behind the scenes that are buying Bitcoin. Uh, anyway, time will tell. It's an exciting time to be involved with all of this. And if you don't have any money invested in Bitcoin, I hope that you'll make a, a decision to at least dig deeper into it. Don't just take my word for it. Don't just take this video for it, but dig deeper. Find out more about what's going on with all of the cryptocurrency market and Bitcoin in particular. Now we've built, I spent two years and thousands of hours building a, a, a computer program that gives us buy and sell signals for cryptocurrency and for Bitcoin. It actually reviews 80 different cryptocurrencies, but I'm going to be adding to that list. I'm going to make sure that we cover uh, the top 100 cryptocurrencies. And this mind-numbing math gives us uh, really successful uh, uh, um, decisions about purchasing cryptocurrency. And if you want to see the track record that we have so far, you can go to etoro.com slash people slash lumen8 algo trader. Be sure you put in the number eight there. Um, and take a look at the recorded uh, uh, stats that eToro has put online. Since we started on October 14th, eToro has a chart and says, okay, if you had invested $10,000 to copy trade Luminate on October 4th when they began, 
Here's a chart that shows you the, the gains and the losses that you would have seen since we started. And right now, your total investment, if you had started with us on October 4th, you would have doubled your money in four months. So our, our last four months on eToro has been, I'm, I'm very proud of it. People, people have had the opportunity to double their money with it. I think we're going to continue to do well. But again, that's my opinion. And past performance does not always indicate future results. And so you want to be cautious when you're investing in cryptocurrency, even if you're doing it on eToro. Now, eToro has given us a $50 limited offer. What I mean by that is eToro is going to give $50 to the first 10 people that subscribe by using my link and become a brand new eToro customer. I'm highlighting the link. If you're not watching the video, you can go back and rewind it and watch the video later and actually use that link. Now, so far, we've had about five or six people who have taken advantage of this. And it's really a simple three-step process. You use the link and subscribe to eToro. You deposit $200 or more. And then you go to this link here, which is my copy trader uh, page on eToro. And click the copy button and use that $200 to copy me because they have a minimum of $200 in order to copy a trader. And with that, eToro will deposit $50 into your account as long as you're within the next five people who actually sign up. And so I would recommend you take advantage of it. I mean, hey, it's 50 bucks in your pocket and all you did was risk $200. I keep <laughs> clicking on the wrong thing there. Let me get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of that. All you did was invested and risked $200 and they bumped it up to 50 bucks more for a total of 250. I think that's a great deal. Uh, and my suggestion, my opinion is, is that it would be good to take advantage of that deal. Now, how can I be of service to you? How can I help you? Do you have any questions? Hey, do you disagree with something I said? I'm interested in your polite disagreements. I'm interested in your questions. I'm interested in helping you any way I can. Leave comments on the YouTube channel. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you'll do me a favor and like, subscribe, and hodl. And hey, have a great day.